Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. Today in the chapel we have Job 37 5. God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He, he does great things beyond his under, our understanding. So, yeah. Just amazing watching God work in the world today, which is not an easy task. Just saying. So, all right. So, just so you know, today I'm a hot mess. I don't have my hair even started it's everywhere it's frizzy i'm i've got the straight iron or flat iron whatever you call it um warming up because it's all over don't have my contacts in just been one of those days so um and it's only starting out you know it, it even at work it's been crazy the last couple of weeks the first of november hit and it, it just went crazy, crazy, crazy. So, right. I do have a couple of projects that I've been working on. And the first that we're going to address is the one that I've been working the hardest on. Um, and that is this. So, this is um, two pounds that I got a couple of years ago. Remember, I ordered like eight pounds of stuff. All at once I have this bobbin and I just have it on that because I'm gonna apply on that and then I have another bobbin take you down and right there I have this bobbin I need to finish filling that right there I've got this little bit of a bump right here sorry okay I've got that little bit of a bump to do still and then um, I've got this big one and I already have all of this done so um, yeah then after I get them done I don't I had a project in mind but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do <laughs> in other words I changed my mind <laughs> I don't know. but I have been working to get that done um, I do have to fill that little one and then I'm gonna apply that off and then I've just got you know the one each one of these bumps is eight ounces so this is eight I don't know I got less than 12 ounces left to go I don't know out of two pounds so yeah I think it's coming along quite nicely and I am trying to get that done so yeah there's that that thunk card was just a spare bottle I have in my bag there. Okay, the other thing that I have been working on is, so this one is my mindless crochet, and I've been working on it. And I think it's coming along quite nicely. Um, so, I have both sleeves done. Okay, this is my tail to put to it. This is one sleeve. And here's the other sleeve. And then this is going to be the part that I wrap um, in between. And I don't know, I'm halfway through, but I'm making it. I have a white shirt that I plan on wearing underneath it. And I am making it, uh, I'm pulling stuff out, can't find my hook, shoot, anyway, I am doubling the uh, yarn, it, it would be super thin if I didn't, um, so, yeah, the only thing I don't like is to figure out where my hook went, oh, it's right there. <laughs> all right anyway so i am probably halfway done uh i'm literally hoping i don't run out of the yellow uh so and worm got into it so i have to stop and do that one yeah and i may end up doing this one if he jumps on it one more time right now i still can pull from the center but yeah he, he tends to jump on them and likes to attack 
yarn. I have no idea why he thinks he's a cat. So, I have that one, and it is coming along nicely. And I'm hoping that it will be get done. If I don't like it, I've already decided I'm going to give it to my daughter. Let's <laughs> just say. <laughs> um, yeah. So, or if I don't, if I think it fits too tight or whatever, it, it's going to be for her if it doesn't fit me the way I want. All right. The other one, and I honestly, this one I haven't picked up. I think I did one row on it, and then... I told you I'm a hot mess and I just didn't feel like dealing with it. And this one, you really have to think every stitch is a different stitch. And you have to know which stitch you're doing. So, um, yeah, it's a cute pattern. And I'm not even halfway done. Okay. So, yeah. And these are still not pulling as well as I'd like them to. So. Yeah. And in the middle of this ball, we have this tail, and yeah, and I'm just working from the outside. It, I don't know. I think that yarn makes it more complicated than it has to be. And I just, I probably will not work with that yarn again. It just is what it is. Okay. So, oh, I almost forgot to put my sleeve back in here. That was going to be odd um and just so you know this sleeve has gray in it to kind of tone the yellow down and then the yellow so we'll see um and finally the last well it's not the last project it's second to the last project so this is working much better and i don't know why i didn't think of this before i just was so upset and exasperated with it it's like why didn't you think of this before um so i tried if you remember it this is a reversible purse and i tried um making two shoulder straps exactly the same length and I counted stitches and I, you know, did it and I put the markers and, oh my gosh, it just never turned out and one would be too long and then one would be too short. And I have no idea why I didn't think to do this before. And I finally just gave up and started crocheting it right on the thing. And I didn't count nothing. I just started a second row like normal. Like it was all in one piece. And then I'm going to fold it in half. And then I will crochet it to the thing. I literally have, after all this time, I literally have one, almost two full rows. I've got a row started with this many double crochets. And I still have this much to go for the double crochet. And then I have one more row of single crochet. And I get to start putting the whole thing back together. So, and this time it's going to work because I, I don't know why I didn't think about it, but they said make two pieces and you know how you, when you follow a pattern, you just get in that mindset that this is the way it needs to be and, oh, I've got to do this and then I've got to stitch all the, no, change it to what works for you. Um, it, it just, I shocked myself because I, I always preach, don't stick, the pattern is just a suggestion. Okay, if you get the end result you want and you're happy with it, there's no mistakes, there's no anything. Um, if you make a mistake consistently through the pattern, that's called a pattern. The pattern's just a suggestion. So, um, or a layout or a, you know. Anyway, I don't know why I forgot that I don't have to do it exactly by the pattern. I can do what works for me that gets the same end result or an end result that I want. And so, yeah, I, I kind of feel ridiculous on the fact that, you know, I got stuck on that and put this in timeout 
all because I couldn't get the handle right. And there's more than one way to skin a cat, you know? Um, it just is working out quite nicely. And I, I, I don't know where I lost my way on that one, but um, yeah. I honestly feel ridiculous that I put it in timeout for so long without figuring out that I could do it a different way, you know? I guess we just get in that rut and in that mindset that, you know, this is the way it has to be. And that's not. Um, and even me who teaches and preaches, it as long as it works for you, it's just, the patterns are just a suggestion. Um, I forget it myself sometimes. And, and I can't complain. That's the first time in a really long time <sighs> that I have put something in timeout and then realize there's another way to do it. And sometimes I just think I was overwhelmed, especially at the time I was trying to do that. There was that little crash show and, oh my gosh, what if things don't sell? So we're going to get back to that right now. Um, so I did do the crash show, and as y'all know. It did okay. I mean, I made a little bit of money, but nothing to write home about. And uh, so I went through it and I am using... All the things, because honestly, I didn't make things that I didn't think, oh, this would be cute for so-and-so. So I'm going to give it to so-and-so for Christmas. A lot of them are at work. Um, it is what it is. So, yeah. But anyway, I went through the tote and I got everything labeled. And the gift bags that I made, I just used those for the gifts I'm giving. Yeah. And I had a lot of fun making them. Um, I don't really think I'll do a craft show again. I'll find my niche. I really enjoy making bags. Um, I'm going to go over and I'm literally going to take a couple of projects with me like this. And then I'm going to take my spinning ones. And... I am going to uh, let the, I'm going to start going on the first Wednesday of the month. There is a spin-in at a local fiber shop. Um, it's called Community Fibers. And I am going to go, the first Wednesday of the month is the spin-in. Um, they, although you're welcome to bring spinning all the time. They just make that primarily they're spinning and people are there to help each other spin and learn to spin. Um, then every other Wednesday or all the other Wednesdays of the month, they do a uh, group gathering, crochet, bring your project kind of thing. And um, I'm going to take these and I'm going to go and I don't know which one I'll take with me, but I'm going to intentionally use certain bags and see if she notices them and if she would be interested in them. If she doesn't notice and she's not interested, well, then I won't be making them for her. But that's my intention is to go over there and maybe see if there's a niche in the community world, you know, and I'll have my spinning bag and if they say anything about it, oh yeah, I make those and, you know. So, um, yeah, super cute, <laughs> or at least I think they are. So, all right. And finally, the last thing, and I know that my alarm is going to get ready to go off and tell me it's time to go do my hair. <laughs> and I know it, it's like, yeah. Um, so the other thing that I saw done and I am trying to replicate is I saw these cute little Christmas tree ornaments and I didn't have the bulky yarn that they used to make them 
So I just, I don't know why I'm, I'm going through this phase of hold two pieces together and just make your own bulky yarn. I don't know. So I had this cotton, <laughs> okay. And I basically just did a rope of um, double crochets. And then there's gonna be beads in between them. And it makes a Christmas tree. So, yeah, but there'll be beads sewed in between them, and there'll be one on the bottom for the, um, what do you call it, stem, no, trunk. So, yeah, they're going to look like this. Get that out of the way. And there will be a bead, and a bead, and a bead, and a bead, and a bead. Now, I haven't tied these off because... I don't know what size beads I can find. And that was one of the things is I just saw it done. And so I did start with this older acrylic too. I tried it with that. I'm not so sure I like it. It makes it quite large or it seems bulkier or it, I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it's really old acrylic that I found in my stash. And so yeah, I'm not real pleased with this one. It, I don't know, it doesn't really fold where I want it to fold either. And so it's like, yeah, it, I don't know, it doesn't, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I think I'm going to have to, yeah. See, every time I try to refold it, it doesn't really do the way I want it to do. And I don't know. So I may have to do a different number of stitches if I do this one. Although I'm not really liking this. I like the cotton. And so well, maybe, maybe that one. I don't know. We'll see how it looks with the beads in there. And we'll see how, you know, it goes. But I kind of like them. And I might make a set of 12 just for the Christmas tree. Um, I've got baskets that I've made that the dogs have gotten into. And I think I'm going to get, I'm going to do the candy on the Christmas tree this year, just because I'm going back, I, being nostalgic, doing toys this year for the kids, very grown up toys. Don't get me wrong. Things that they can do together to grow and bond. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to get away, get away from putting candy on the Christmas tree just because <sighs> roommate and I don't eat it and then it kind of goes to waste and then the dogs get into it and I can't put chocolate out there. So it is what it is. So yeah, but anyway, so I like it. I don't know. I know that um, it's going to waste a lot of time. RJ goes and takes it off this year. I'll do the candy. Um, but him and I are also going, so we're doing Thanksgiving this Saturday after Thanksgiving and we're having lasagna. My kids are coming. RJ is going to stay late, him and Macy, and they are going to go with me to get the candy that goes on or in the stockings. We're going to go and try and find all the things that we found, you know, Pez dispensers. Um, if we can find those books of lifesavers, I don't know if anybody even remembers those. Um, but, and it wasn't really a book. The front page was a cardboard open up and you opened it up and there's a little box of windows. And there was a little story. Most of the time the night before Christmas was written in there. And, and then there was like five rolls of lifesavers and the kids could break them apart and have them, you know, for Day. we actually ended up like throwing them away at I don't know Easter or something one year because the kids didn't eat all of them but um we're gonna try and find the nostalgic candies that we used to do um I'm gonna take him up to Aldi's and I'm gonna take him to uh Walmart we'll go from there 
there isn't just a candy shop that I can go and get these things from. So, um, and there's a reason I want to go to Aldi's is because if I can, I'm going to find the advent calendars, but they sell out pretty fast. So I'm thinking I need to get my butt up there and go look. And I might do that on the way home tonight just because I thought about it. Anyway, so I'm going to try and make these Christmas trees. I've got to go get some beads and I don't know what size beads I'm going to get. So I'm going to say there and be that big of a yarn. <laughs> I don't know. Um, honestly, it is what it is. So I am going to try these. I do like the cotton better than I like the acrylic. The acrylic just, I don't know, it doesn't have any flow to it. And this is very limp and, and just, it, it looks like it's drawn, you know, like a Christmas tree. So um, we'll see if I can find some beads, see how well they go together. And then, like I said, I'm just going to S it together. And, and I just think this one comes together better. I don't know. Um, but it will be a Christmas tree and I'll be beads in there. And, you know, so, yeah. I like it. And then I'm going to make sure that I leave a hanger on there, you know, and then put it down for the beads. So, really liking the cotton, not so much the acrylic, but, and my Christmas tree, all my ornaments are done in white. And that's why they're in white and nothing else. Anyway, and if I decide to do it in cotton, I'll do this mini. I don't even know what cotton that is. Um, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, so. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get off here. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope. I'm praying that ours get better. Um, people are just very gripey and not very friendly right now. And I know it's the holidays coming up. And that's probably what's doing it to people. Plus everything that's going on in the world. So, yeah. It is what it is. But, anyway. You guys have an amazing week. God bless, and thanks for watching. Bye.